Divine Truth Frequently Asked Questions Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. How important is it for a child to understand the difference about the real parent, God, versus earthly parents? So, and, and following on from that, what effect does it have on the child's soul? Yeah. Um, and what effect does it have on the parent? Okay, well, perhaps if you can remind me the last two questions, yeah. if we follow the first question first, which was um, this, this idea and concept that what effect does it have? Uh, just yeah. if you restate yeah. it for me again. Yeah, so how important is it for the child to understand the difference between God as its parents its parent. versus its earthly parents? Yeah, or us, parents. It's, it's very, very important for a lot of reasons. You see, you see, the child has no concept inside of itself when it's first born or, or just developing intellectually that its parents know, don't know everything, right? The child believes that everything its parents know is everything that there is to know. Now, now if the child now understand and is, is taught by the parent that the parent doesn't know everything, the parents aren't God and the parents aren't their child's, soul's parent. Yeah. If, the, if, the, if the child is taught that the true parent of the child is God and God knows everything, now the, the child has the ability to distinguish some major things. It has the ability to see that its parents might do some things in the future that are not right and that are not in harmony with love and that are not truthful and that are not humble, right? And it, the child also has the ability to see that while the parent might do that, God would never do that. So it has the ability to mm. separate inside of its developing psych, psychology. It has the ability to separate God's, potent, God's actions and, and God's nature from its parents' actions and its parents' nature. Does that make sense? Yep. Now, this is a critical part of its development. You see, if it, imp if it applies its parents' nature upon God, then it's, then it's going to distort its belief systems about God. Yep. And this is the major cause of all the false re all of religions on the planet, right? Where there's distorted natures about God in, contained in every religion because every one of the people who created these religions came from a parent who had a distorted viewpoint of love. Yep. Now, if those parents had separated their nature from God's nature by saying, we're not your parent. All we did was create your two bodies and God's your real parent. And God doesn't make mistakes. God designed you perfectly. God designed you a perfect personality for you. God designed all these perfect things about love that you can embrace. God designed you to have a relationship with God. God designed everything independent of us, yep. right? And the parents come to, and the parents teach the child that particular concept. Now the child psychologically can see whenever the parents make choices that the child feels out of harmony, are out of harmony of love, that it doesn't have to accept the parent's choice. Yep. And this is very powerful for the child because it helps them have the ability to make their own choices independent of the parents, right? In the long run, and more dependent upon God knowing that God's choices are all in harmony with love and the parents might be imperfect and they might make choices out of harmony with love. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it helps psychologically the child to separate God from the parent, from the, uh, their earthly parents, and to in fact start seeing God as their parent and their parents as their brothers and sisters. Right? And this was a great benefit to the child because it then gives it a great benefit of developing a relationship with God independent of its parents and the parents' relationship with God. Yep. Right? Now, if you think about, if, you, if every child had been given that particular gift while they were on earth, right, you can imagine the effect is that the children would have engaged more of their own personality, more of their own nature. They would have done more of the things they willed to do. A lot more of their things might have been done in harmony with love instead of just being in harmony with their parents' idea of love. Yeah. Right? But when the child is not separated, like the psychologically, there's no separation between God and the parents, and that is caused by the parent saying, you're my child, I own you, 
you've got to do what I mm. want. I brought you into the world and all those other false statements because all of them are false. Yeah. You know, the parents did nothing of the kind. All they did was have sex. <laughs> they did nothing of the, of the rest of those things that they're saying they did. The soul of the child was brought into the world through a completely different process, right? And, and this is what we parents need to come to terms with. If the child understands the separation of the processes, then the child can go, okay, I've got the freedom to enter a relationship with God and I've got the freedom to continue a relationship with my earthly parents, if we call them that, who are my brothers and sisters. And I also have now the ability psychologically to see that my parents might not always be right. And I get to see that at a very young age, right? Whereas the average person on this planet never gets to see that until the teenage years, generally, right? And even then, they never get to rebel against it without getting punished, yeah. right? But if the child was given this ability, we're very young, like two, three, four, five years of age, while its intellect is developing and while its psychological development is occurring, by the time the child is seven years of age, it now knows that it can enter a relationship with a loving God while at the same time having a relationship with unloving Mm. Older brothers and sisters who call, yep. who brought who brought their bodies into the world, right? And it will be able to determine the difference between love and what is loving and unloving, right? But if but if but if the parents don't teach the child this particular principle, and they teach the child that they are the child's gods, which is really what the parent yep. most parents are teaching their children then the, parent, the child is going to believe that the parents are always right until they start seeing the parents are not always right. And then there's going to be huge psychological upheavals for the child, a lot of pain and suffering. It's got to go against its parents. The parents will often punish it and sometimes yep. violently punish the child. There'll be lots of pain and suffering as a result of these particular actions because the parents chose to teach something that was out of harmony with the truth. Right. So it is very important for the child in particular, that the parents teach the child that the parents are not their real parents, the child's real parents. The parents are brothers and sisters, older brothers and sisters, who through created their two bodies, the spiritual material body of the child, in order for the child to experience the world, but the real parent of the child is God. God created the child's soul. Now, there are two yeah. other parts of the question, so what were they? <clears throat> um, okay, oh, sorry, one other part. Oh, sorry. So what effect does that have on the child's soul? Yep, so we've discussed the psychological yep. effects on the soul, yep. Um, and what effect does it have on the parent? What effect it has on the parent is interesting, very interesting, because if the parent withholds the truth or does not understand the truth, that the parent is not the parent, but rather the older brother and sister of this child that, they, yep. that they've attracted through the creation of the bodies, then the parent gets to the point where they believe themselves to be the God of the child. Do you understand what I mean by that? They believe that they themselves can dictate mm. to the child how the child should express it and use its free will. Now, this is a very damaging thing that the parent does yeah. to itself because the parent is now believing that they have rulership over the child. They are believing yeah. there is no equality anymore between the child and themselves in, the, in terms of the expression of will. They believe the child should submit their will to the parent. Yeah. And these are all very damaging false beliefs that the parents retain. And while the parent retains these damaging false beliefs, they damage their own soul and further damage the souls of their children. And this is why many parents pass into the spirit world in dark condition, not because of anything they did with anybody else around them, but because of what actions they took as a subsequent result of their belief that they are the God of the child or they are the person who can rule over the child. And this causes a lot of soul-based damage to the parent after they've passed, uh, during yeah. the time they live, yeah. but after they pass, they start recognising this damage. Does that make sense? So mm. it's critical for both the child and the parent that the parents come to terms with the fact that they are not the child's creator. They are the creator of the two bodies into which the child was invited. Right? 
And the child is God's creation, not their own. And if the parents understand that relationship, they will not believe themselves to be the owner, ruler, God or parent of the child. Yep. They will not enforce their own belief systems upon the child. They will not control the child's behaviour through a force of their will or through violence because they respect the position in which they are in. As a result, they will not damage their own soul further. So it's a very important principle to get across to parents that they are not the actual parent of the yeah. child. They are just people who created the two bodies into which their younger brother and sister or sister has incarnated. Yep. That's all they are. And as such, if they recognise that role with humility, they will never damage that younger brother and sister through the imposition of, their, of, the, parent, of the parents mm. or the adult's will upon the child. They would rather be very circumspect about the actions they took with the child. And they wouldn't be trying to control the child's will. They wouldn't be trying to damage the child's uh, development in any way. They wouldn't be trying to turn the child into an image of themselves. Yeah. They would be instead be turning the child into an image of the child's true God, true, true parent, yep. which is God. Yep. So, so okay. yep. we all have been created with, uh, as images of God. And unfortunately, the parents go, no, I reject that. And they want the child to become an image of themselves. Now, of course, most children by the time they're teenagers rebel against that concept, understandably so, yeah. because they are not an image of the parent. They are an image of their invisible creator, their invisible parent. They're not an image yeah. of their earth-based older brother and sister who created just yeah. their bodies. So you can see that it has a very... This is important because it has a huge psychological effect on the child when it, when it knows who its true parent is. And it has a huge amount of positive influences upon the parent and their choices and decisions while they're parents, yep. if they understand what the truth is. But if they understand it differently, they will impose many, many injuries upon themselves, many injuries upon the child. The child psychologically will not be able to separate God from the parent and as a result will impose many of the beliefs that they have about their parents onto God, oh God. Yep. and that damages many parts of their future development. So you see it's a yep. huge issue, this yep. issue of coming to understand your true role as a so-called parent, as, as a person on earth who has, who has a child drawn through the creation of the bodies for the child to exist in. We, if we understand the truth about it, we, we can do, undo a lot of damage that yeah. uh, has been done, multi-generational damage that has been done on this planet towards children and subsequent generations. Yeah. Mm.